Good morning, children. How are you all? I hope you all are doing good. Last class, we got introduced to a new chapter, my teeth, right? And we learned about the types of teeth as well as the structure of a teeth. So, in today's class, we'll be learning about tooth decay. So, what is a tooth decay? Decay means, in general, we say the damage which is caused to our teeth, right? So, let us see what is meant by tooth decay. Tooth decay is the breakdown of tooth enamel and it can lead to a hole in the teeth that is called as cavity and tooth decays are caused by the bacteria inside the mouth. So, few of you must have seen that when you get pain you see in the mirror when you open your mouth and see there is a black mark in the tooth. So, that is a tooth decay that means that particular teeth is damaged and let us see what are the causes for it. Here on the screen you can see the picture of what happens after eating the food. If we are not properly rinsing our mouth what will happen few food particles might get stuck inside uh, on the top of the teeth or else in between the teeth. So, what happens after that it remains there and the bacteria is already in the mouth what it will do it will feed on to that food which is left on the teeth and this will produce a acid and that acid will damage our teeth by making a hole inside the teeth right and that causes a pain severe pain laterally if we are not showing it to the dentist it creates a big pain in our mouth and we need to take out that damaged teeth right. So, let us see the causes like how it happens. Few of you may have seen it already those who have suffered the tooth decay or maybe if you can open your mouth and see in the mirror if you have such teeth inside your mouth. Anyone might be your uh, family members or anyone can just check this is what is known as teeth decay. This how it a black mark inside the tooth. So, Whenever we eat as I have told you how it is caused is like whenever eat, we eat uh, do not rinse our mouth properly that uh, food particles might get remained in our mouth itself and that will stay on in between the tooth or maybe on the top of it or what happens after that already we have few germs inside our mouth. These bacteria what it will do is it will feed on the sugar in the food it will feed on the sugars which is available in the food which is left over in our mouth and it will produce a kind of acid. That acid will cause a cavity, cavity means a hole you can see in the teeth that is a cavity. Let us see the germs as I have already told you in the mouth feed on the sugar that is present in the food and produces a kind of acid. And that acid when it stays on the teeth what happens that can damage the teeth by making a hole in the teeth. So, that hole in the teeth is called as cavity. So, what is a cavity? A hole in a teeth is called as a cavity. So, a cavity is very painful when it comes I mean it is very painful we would not be able to um, bear that pain and as well as we have to show it to the dentist and maybe when it is totally damaged that teeth has to be taken. We have to take care of the teeth by always after eating the food we have to wash our mouth, we have to rinse our mouth with water after having the breakfast or lunch or maybe dinner. So, likewise we can take care of our teeth and even as we all know that we should brush our teeth morning and evening twice a day. Like after before sleep we have to brush our teeth and then we should go for a sleep. So, now let us look into the next topic that is food for healthy teeth. So, children you all know that to be strong and healthy our body we need to eat a good healthy diet as well as we need to do exercise. So, same way we need to take care of our teeth also to keep it healthy we have to have healthy food as well as we should do exercise. We can do exercise to our teeth and gum like how it happens when we are chewing a hard food for a long time. For example, when we are chewing a chewing gum 
we are giving an exercise to our teeth as well as gum. We chew it for a long time, so it gives a good exercise to our teeth and gum which is healthy for our teeth. As well as to make it more healthy and strong, our teeth we need to have foods like what are the food items we should have for uh, making our teeth more strong. It is like green vegetables as I have already told you in the last class also we have learned milk, lemon, orange, bananas are good source of calcium right. So, we should take such food in good amount so that our teeth stays stronger and we should also do exercise give exercise to our gums and teeth so it stays healthy. Now as you know we need to remain uh, if we need to make our teeth and uh, gums uh, healthy we need to uh, chew the food for a long time and likewise as also not only that we should eat healthy food. Now, Chewing food for a long time, as I have already told you, chewing food for a long time gives exercise to your teeth and gum. As well as we should eat such green vegetables, milk, oranges and lemons, bananas, fish we should eat which is good for our teeth and these food items will keep our teeth and gums healthy. Now let us move on to the next, this is a general thing which you should all be knowing in old ancient times like uh, when we were not using the paste we used to what the people used the twigs of babul tree and the neem tree. What they do is that they take the twig and they crush it they chew it so that they make a soft bristle of that like a toothbrush and they use that for brushing their teeth. Even they it is believed that chewing that twig of neem or babul tree gives rise to our gum as well as teeth you know and the juice of that twig is known for killing the germs. So, this is a general thing people are still using the twigs of babul tree or the neem tree instead of the paste which is good for our teeth and gum which makes our teeth and gum healthy as well as for tongue cleaning they use that twig itself they sliced it into two parts and they use the twig itself as a uh, cleaning the tongue. So, now this is only for your uh, general information. Now, let us move on to the ways of brushing the teeth. You can see in the picture how we have to, we have to brush our front part of the teeth and even like uh, the sides of the teeth, the crown part of the teeth and even the back side of the teeth we have to brush it properly. These are the ways of brushing the teeth properly. Okay, now, let us look into how we can brush the teeth in right way. As I have already told you we must brush the teeth twice a day that is morning and before going to sleep we have to brush the teeth and then we should go for sleep as well as we should use soft toothbrush ok and we should brush our teeth after eating the foods before going to sleep we have to brush our teeth ok and we should brush our teeth for few minutes we should uh, gently brush it for a few minutes ok. Now next see like you have to rinse 5 to 6 times right you have to rinse with water how many times 5 to 6 times after brushing your teeth. So, these are the way you can follow and you can keep your teeth healthy. So, now children let us look into the ways of keeping our teeth healthy and strong. The first thing is clean your tongue always with the tongue cleaner. Okay, you have to clean your tongue always with the tongue cleaner. The next is rinse your mouth with water after eating. Always rinse your mouth with water to make it clean. Now, let us see do not eat anything once you have brushed your teeth in the night time after that do not eat anything. When you are going for sleep you have brushed your teeth you can drink water and go for sleep. But if you are eating anything else again after that then again it will uh, the, germ, the food particles will remain in your teeth and that will cause bacteria inside your mouth causing cavity. So, it is all after brushing your teeth you can drink water, but uh, do not have to eat anything after that uh, before going for sleep. Now, next is replace your toothbrush when you see that the bristles are, are to wear down I mean it is begin to wear down it is almost like you can see. The best thing is like the toothbrush you can uh, replace every uh, 2 or 3 months you have to replace with the new one. 
okay so you can know that the bristles are wearing down then you can change it okay and never share your toothbrush with anyone else if you're using one toothbrush let it be yours don't share it with your uh, brothers or sisters or maybe someone else never so what toothbrush you are using it keep it separately for you and always have a dental checkup at least once a year okay every year you should have a dental checkup so that if any issues or any problems are there with your teeth you can clear it taking a proper medication okay so likewise children make sure that you take care of your teeth and gums having proper healthy diet which is always related to your tooth i mean as we have already learned the best thing is like drinking milk it's very good for health for teeth especially having lemon juice oranges green leafy vegetables eat it so that you can keep it strong as well as chewing gum is not a bad thing but it gives good exercise to your gum and teeth okay but don't make it a habit but still you can have in between and likewise brush your teeth twice a day daily morning as well as in the night time keep your mouth clean so that you won't have any issues and the cavities are not caused okay so hereafter you make sure that you take good care of your mouth and teeth so children today uh, we have finished this chapter but still we have to discuss over the exercises so we'll continue with the exercise in the next class so until then take care